Hey there, we're back with Generation What? Caitlin here, as per usual. We are talking today about millennials and money. The other day I was just browsing LinkedIn and the top three on the headline side, the top news headline side of LinkedIn, three of them were about millennials and how they're mismanaging their wealth, how they're falling into debt, how they're the poorest generation of all of the generations ever. And it's, it's interesting coming from a millennial, hearing about my generation's failure to manage our wealth to save enough for retirement, what's coming for us if another recession hits. I recently saw that essentially millennials would be sunk if another recession or economic downturn hit anytime soon because we just don't have enough in savings. We don't have enough to fall back on. It's kind of scary being a millennial because as you all very well know, I'm sure, we have more student loan debt than any other generation in history. In fact, a recent report just stated that borrowers between the ages of 18 and 39, so essentially prime millennial years, owe about 840 billion of the nation's $1.3 trillion student loan debt. So that's great. We also apparently earn 20% less than boomers did at our age, but we're more highly educated than the boomer generation was at our age. So it's an interesting balance and it's really showing you the nature of our economy and the nature of the world that we live in and how things might not be looking so hot for millennials right now. But because of all this debt, because of all this financial mishap that is going on in this generation, we're finding that millennials are actually delaying a lot of major life events because of it, which I personally can completely relate to. Things like marriage, things like buying a house, things like major medical procedures, for example, which probably shouldn't be messed around with. But these things are being delayed because of money. And we all know that millennials are set to be renters forever, right? It's very rare that a millennial owns a house these days just because of inflation, of the rising house, housing costs, and how just impossible it is if you're in immense amounts of student loan debt. It's also important to note that millennials are the most open generation in terms of open to talking about money, talking about how much you make, talking about how much you have in the bank, talking about how to manage your money, and we are the most likely generation to actually know our credit score. Now, I don't know if that's a result of maybe we're just more technologically savvy and know that we can just head onto our app real quick and check our credit score at a moment's notice, or if that means that we actually care about checking it more, which is a positive thing. So kind of coming around from this negative start of like, wow, millennials are in for a struggle moving forward to hopefully some hope because we are aware of our credit scores. We are aware of this debt that we are in and hopefully learning more about how to remedy it. And coming from a millennial, I think something that would have been so helpful is having classes, having you know lessons when you're in school about managing your money, about investments, about stocks, about taxes, all these things that we encounter every day when we're an adult, yet we're never really taught in school and it was up to us to kind of figure that out later. Um, I think that's something that we should start to really push even more in the school system so that our youth can be more prepared. Reports are showing that millennials are set to inherit a lot of boomer money, so that could turn things around for this generation as well and kind of create a more balanced out generational wealth spectrum, if you will. So to my fellow millennials out there, what I can say to you is just keep saving and educating yourselves on what to do with your money, how to make the most of your money, because that's what's gonna save us as a generation ultimately. To all your other generations out there, especially the older generations, try and educate the younger people around you as much as possible on what's gonna be happening as they enter the economy, what's gonna be happening with their money. I think that will be so helpful and will help to connect us even more in this financial world where a lot of us are very new and very clueless as to what's going on. So there you have it. Hopefully we're in for a positive upturn in all of this latest news about fantastic things happening with millennials and money right now. So thanks for tuning in as always. See you next time on Generation What?